Welcome to Five Fires YouTube. Today we're going to be talking about Genie Plus being sold out now for three days straight. So Genie Plus has been a roller coaster of opinions. Is it worth it? Not worth it? Uh, how many rides are you going to get out of it? Lots of things have changed as crowds have got bigger at Disneyland. But for today... It has now sold out again, today being the 29th of December. So it sold out the 27th, the 28th, and now the 29th. This is three days in a row Genie Plus has sold out. Uh, I actually caught wind that it sold out yesterday for the second time, uh, being December 28th. And from what I heard, it sold out like around 11, 12 o'clock. Uh, today being the 29th, uh, Scott Gustin on Twitter covered it. It also sold out, and I guess it sold out around that same time, uh, around 1130. So pretty crazy. Uh, something I do want to refer back to, I know that this is kind of the Chapek era, but at the end of the day, this was the direction and what the CEO at the very top of Disney was thinking and this is talking specifically about experience at the park, and I'll get more into that. But let me show you this video. Diverse, those diehards. We want to guarantee a great guest experience no matter when people come. If they come the second Tuesday in September, we want them to have a great guest experience. Maybe that wouldn't be so hard in the past. But if they come the day after Thanksgiving, we also want to guarantee that they're going to have a great experience. Mm. So I did not believe that when he said that, which was like two months ago. But, you know, now that Bob Iger has taken over, it really seems like that statement that is made there is true. <sighs> we all know Disneyland in December is insane. Same thing goes with Knott's, Universal Studios Hollywood. These theme parks are slammed during this holiday season. And I've been to now Disneyland, Knott's, and Universal uh, during these like last two weeks going into Christmas, and it's pack meter broken, pack meter shattered. Uh, for the most part, at Universal Studios Hollywood, everything is like two hours. Uh, Kung Fu Panda was 70 minions was like 120 it was it was just too impacted the crowds are so high uh that you're you're really not doing much <laughs> same thing goes with knots very far ghost riders like three hours uh hang time is like two to three hour everything's just heavily impacted to get uh fireman's brigade barbecue at knots very farm you almost took like an hour hour and a half to get your food it's just crazy and at the end of the day Disney Disneyland now shutting off the sales of Genie Plus, so Lightning Lanes. Uh, that's a very good thing. I think it's a very beneficial thing. To me, that truly says, "Hey, I care about the experience you're having at the park when you're trying to upgrade your experience by paying more money and getting Disney Genie Plus. We care about your experience using Genie Plus." And the fact that they're doing that has added way more value to Genie Plus. So for all the people that were lucky enough to get a Genie Plus and then get Lightning Lanes, I feel like you're getting a lot of value during a time when it's the most busy uh, of the year. And Disneyland, uh, as much as the other parks have been impacted by these humongous crowds during Christmas, Disneyland, I feel like, has managed it the best. With the whole concept of blocking out the magic keys and then having these higher tier prices of tier six, tier seven, uh, where you're paying like 180 or 230 or 240 for park hopper. Uh, it, and, and that's the only way you're getting into the parks right now is by paying the ticket admission. The crowds have been pretty good at Disneyland. I feel like Disneyland has managed the crowds the best uh, from all the theme parks. Uh right now they're they're doing a wonderful job i really feel that they're preserving and trying to create the best experience possible for these holiday crowds the ticket admission crowd the tourists that are coming during this time they're really putting that extra effort to 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 create that better experience so now that we know that disney genie plus can sell out 
and it's 30 bucks. I feel like this might give Disneyland the upper hand to be like, hey, we're going to charge 35 bucks and it will sell out. <laughs> I feel like it gives Disneyland the opportunity to maybe increase the, the, the price of these Disney Genie Plus days and opportunities. Uh, because if it is a finite amount, that value is there. It's there. Because what we saw for the longest of time, Disney Genie Plus just kind of infinitely sold. And uh, for all you know, you were waiting 20 to 30 minutes to do Monsters, Inc. through a lightning lane, you know, and stuff like that. So the fact that it's uh, a finite amount now, it's a great. And it is probably due to high guest demand. But I feel like we've had high guest demand in general, period. I think it's the change of leadership. Uh, obviously, Bob Iger now being more involved and Ken Pot Rock and Josh Tomorrow. This change was definitely uh, talked about through all of them. But I feel like the stop sale uh, is a great effort to uh, utilize and help have good experience for all the people who did purchase Dizzy Genie Plus. So uh, I think this is a great move, the fact that they are cutting off sales. And I feel that this will be a more common thing moving forward, going into January and February and March. Uh, even though they're supposed to be kind of like low times at Disney, they're not. We're going to have the 100 Celebration kickoff, Mickey and Minnie's, uh, Magic Happens, the parade coming through, and then Toontown reopening. It, it's it's going to be a wild beginning of the year in, in uh, 2023 for Disneyland. So very exciting. Do you think this is a good move? I think it is. I think it's a great move that Disney Genie Plus now has a limit uh, and it, it it just adds value. That's how I look at it. Uh, I would be or I'm curious to hear what your opinion is and uh, post in the comments. Let's have a discussion. And do you think this is a positive, negative or a who cares? I would love to hear from you. Post in the comments. Please smash that like button on the way out. And thank you for supporting the fire. We are firing it down, firing it down. The Cali Bay is calling it a day. I'm the main host, Mondo. Ah!